Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbythat.com. It's a topsy-turvy day. We're doing another tops break, mint baseball. Uh, one box random number break number 28 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So we only sold 25 spots. 25, uh, each spot gets you four random numbers in this break, right? So I have to quadruple this list. One, two, three, and four. So you'll see Lee's last spot mojo star. One, two, three, and four times right there so there you go there's 100 numbers we're going left side of the serial number rolling the dice for each list three and a five eight times for each list one two three four five six six seven and eight there you go so after eight times got greg on the pole and lee with the last spot mojo with the last spot. Now we do randomize numbers as well as if they were like teams. So eight times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. So after eight times, number 85 is up there and number 13 is all the way down here. So I'm gonna take some time to kind of sort these out a few different ways. So just bear with me here. So without sorting out anything by your first names or by numbers, here's just everything right here. So this is just a list just not sorted out. Don't worry, if you miss your number, don't worry. I'm gonna sort them by uh, number and then I'll sort them by your first names. So Michael G has spot one. So it's sorted by column B. He has one, two, and three. He did buy a lot of numbers. Now let me just shrink this and print this out really quick. All right, so here are uh, your names and, and uh, your names next to the numbers sorted by numerical order. Again, I'll sort them by your first names. It'll be easier to catch your names that way. I just want to do it this way just so everyone can see. And so it's whatever on the whatever's on the left side of the serial number. Now, John, you got spot 100. Any redemption that pops out of this one box break is yours. So if the whole box is redemptions, those are all yours, for example. It's never happened, but we've seen like boxes with two redemptions in there before, though. Um, and then anything numbered, because I think there are a couple relics, just relic only hits that are numbered 100 or over so any one of those will be yours if they're 100 or over okay now finally sorted by your first name so chris there are yours dave barrows there are your numbers greg got a good chunk of spots right there those are your numbers greg mr jeff hensley from ohio with these numbers john baso joseph johns Lee, here are your last spot mojo numbers, 13, 26, 83, and 92. Michael G with a whole slew of numbers right here. There you go. Thanks, Mike. Rick Hunt, Robert, TJ, Travis. And there you go. I'm going to pause the video, see if there's any trade. I'm gonna gra i got to grab the boxes too. And then when we come back, the mint. Believe it or not, there was a trade. The Mint Baseball, we've done, what, 28 of these breaks. I think there may have been, like, two or three trades in the entire history of this. And recent memory, there's never been a trade, though. I think maybe back in the day, there there must have been. Um, Greg wanted number 44, so Michael G had 44. So all the way up here, we'll give 44 to Greg and trade it for 45. That makes sense, actually. So now Michael G has 45, Greg has 44, and all is right in the world. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Last box of the case for this mint. So let's see how that plays out. Last box of the case for the mint. Um, we did get another, and this was box number two, I think. We did get another case of the mint. So the next one box break that I post will be from a fresh case. 
And per tradition, we'll randomize this pouch off to someone in this break. Could be a cherry on top of a nice break or a consolation prize. Oh, I see a redemption in there. I see a redemption. So that's an automatic hit for John B. John Beso with that. And that redemption is... Purple Parallel Lucas Giolito. I don't know what the purples are numbered to. Maybe 25, 99, something like that. Actually, now I'm curious. Let me look this up. It's worth looking up. Stand by. Purple parallel for number 100. Let me write this down too. What is it? Just a regular... Oh, it's a Rivals Autograph Purple Parallel. It's out of 50. Nice, out of 50. Or less, it says. So I don't know. It could be, could be lower, but that's what it says according to CardboardConnection.com. Nice. Next one. Out of 50. Wow. 35 out of 50 Ichiro on Card Auto. That's nice. That is strong. Right there. Who has number 35? Number 35 is Joseph Johns with the number 35. That's pretty nice. Next one is 75 out of 75. And it's an old school player. It's a sweet player. Hall of Famer, Sweet Lou Brock, 72. Out of 75, nice high number. Number 72 is Travis Neve. There you go, Travis. He bought one spot. He's like, hey, screw it. I'll give it a shot. There it is. Next one is out of 99. 94 out of 99. So it's a high number. Edwin Encarnacion. Still Blue Jays edition on this one. Number 94. The high number is hitting. Michael G with number 94. Two more to go. Out of 99 again. And it's number 9, number 9, number 9, 9 out of 99. So we got a top 10 number on the board. Number 9 is Ohio Jeff Hensley. Nice. There you go, Jeff. And last but not least is a relic. It's 43 out of 250, Adam Jones patch. Uh, JB169387, so MLB authentication number. I, I believe it's probably that date right there. There you go. So that's a nice one. For number 43, number 43 is Robert Throne. So after all that 45, 44 and 45 trade, it's number 43, Robert, that ends up getting the hit. It's kind of funny. All right. Well, there you go, Robert, Adam Jones. And that's it, folks. See, the mint is really nice. All right. I'll post another one box break from a fresh case right after this break. We do have to do the randomizer for that velvet pouch. Everybody wants that pouch. Could be a cherry on top. Could be a consolation prize for someone. We'll see. All right, so from Michael G. all the way down to John Beso. Let's roll the dice. Name on top. After eight times, we'll get the pouch. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time after eight times. I need a drum roll right here is what I need. Joseph John, no doubt about it. Joseph Johns with the bonus. There you go, velvet mint pouch. Doesn't say where it's made. So we're just saying it's made of the finest, the finest velvet from the United States. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time for more mint from jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is Joe. I'm out.